好，咁啊，好开心啊！嚟一个继续讲落去，<笑>就嚟到即系头先上一次我哋讲到，其实加勒菲其实即系最近呢两三个礼拜就讲到，哇！呢条友好邪恶啊，好唔掂啊咁样。但系两三个礼拜之前，两三可能即系两三个礼拜之前，佢仲系呢个西方嘅反恐盟友吓，系、啊、大家嘅好诶，系、呃、即系又卖友俾你啦，跟住又出钱啊，资助嗰啲。<笑>可能即係對於對於到時嚟講，呢個應該係即係阿拉伯世界領袖嘅楷模嚟嘅，即係大家都好似佢咁樣一齊打到，咁啊世界和平啦。係，我記得誒、呃，譬如好似阿邊個係個阿阿阿 Hillary Clinton 都有講過啊，即係加勒菲係其中一個喺中東咧最重要嘅反恐盟友咁樣，即係佢都有又用過啲咁嘅語呢啲用語去去。盛讚呢個加勒菲，咁我點解去到兩個禮拜之前，忽然間就變咗咁咧？譬如，因為阿 Nin 都講過，其實卡勒菲自己都曾經想過就係、是、啊，如果而家出事咧，就應該啲應該同西方結係啦，應該 NATO 同埋呢個即係應該北約同埋美國佬應該嚟幫我啊，應該炸掛曬炸掛曬嗰啲反動勢力先啦，係嘛？咁點解而家倒翻轉頭變咗係咁樣樣咧？背後有啲咩原因咧？ Well, this is not、uh, exactly something that、uh, we have established. There's been a lot of hypotheses about why、mm. this is the case. 即係而家都要猜想一下啫，就話冇一個好明確嘅背景嘅。I think, but I think as、uh, critics of what is going on, and and、uh, uh, if we try to understand what is happening, there are two kinds of impulses that we kind of have to resist that、mm. are emerging right now to try and explain the situation.、Mm. The first one is, of course, the really naive, like. Really apolitical kind of oh humanitarian one like、mm. oh it's an emergency we must intervene by any means possible、mm. and the second one is what I would call kind of the vulgar Marxist materialist instrumentalist way of understanding it. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm like, <laughs> like I, I'm not. Of course, I'm not condemning Marxism because I I am a Marxist, but. There is a tendency for old-fashioned Marxists to reduce this to a kind of instrumental explanation. They say, "Okay, this is all about oil,"、mm. and if people think that、uh, these countries are coming into Libya because Libya has installed an anti-imperialist sanction against European powers using their oil, they're totally wrong. But that's not true. 係啦，因為呢個唔啱，因為你頭先都講過，其實利比亞一路都好好樂意賣油俾你翻油啊。佢係應該係即係對。即係頭二十個石油輸出國之一嚟嘅，係，然後佢又好願意，即係照計，即係以石油輸出嚟講，即係如果佢繼續合作嘅話，點都容易過你打亂咗佢，然之後再組織翻個一個政府。咁不如我都係講翻咧，即係頭先阿 Lin 都講過一個好幼稚嘅睇法，就係即係人道主義嘅睇法。但係我覺得呢樣嘢唔係完全幼稚啊。即係即係，正係正係喺兩三個禮拜之前，即係我哋可以喺電視畫面啊，喺互聯網上面咧。見到一啲即係卡達菲去,去用空襲嘅手段去對付一啲即係平民，咁呢樣嘢其實直接影響到即係整個歐美社會嗰、那個嗰、那個嗰、那個民意嘅，因為對於即係呢啲民主社會嚟講，即、就、係、是、人道主義本身就係佢嘅政府個合法性所在嚟噶嘛。如果你個政府係對住一個咁樣即係咁咁咁大嘅 visual impact， 你乜嘢都唔做，乜嘢都唔表態嘅話，其實就即、是、係。就唔掂啦咁，嗱，但係我我呢、這個我呢、這個我明白啦嗱、嗯，但係咧就阿 Nina 講佢佢唔係反對話冇完全冇人道主義嘅考慮，但可能有，嗯、並且呢、這個但係當佢考慮嘅時候，可能第一啦就佢唔係那依啲人，即係啊好慘啊嘛，快啲救佢，而係喂大佬我唔搞，即係我如果我唔就你咧，可能我選票我唔掂啊，咁、嗯、所以我因為背後有啲人覺得我應該。以人道主義立場去干預，我就走去干預另外一個即係會對於你頭先講嗰個人道主義好 challenge 嘅，一個另外一個事實咧，就係同一時間咧，我哋見到中東嘅茉莉花革命嘅潮流咧，唔係淨係波及利比亞，而波及更多嘅地方。譬如頭先，係啦，譬如佢頭先講嘅好多嘅地方，譬如誒敍利亞啦。誒、uh, Arab 啦，即係誒阿阿誒阿聯酋，阿聯酋啦，譬如仲有誒也門、巴林同埋誒作誒約旦啦，呢啲地方咧都有發生革命啦，亦都有我哋都聽過啦，有誒、呃、政府屠殺就屠殺平民啦，直頭係攞槍向呢個集會群眾射嚇、啊、亂射<笑>都有。嚇咁呢啲難度又唔係人道危機咩？即即係甚至我哋可以<笑>可以可以去去咁講添，即係之所以個我哋叫嗰個做人道危機，<笑>只不過就話我哋可以喺媒體上面睇到更加多嘅人道危機。咁變咗即係媒體選擇俾幾多人道危機俾我哋咧，我哋就得覺得嗰度有幾大危機啦。咁呢、這個嗱睇嗰個媒體講完之前咧，就仲有另外一樣嘢咧，就係即係仲過分嘅一樣嘢咧，就係、是、誒、呃
呢個阿拉伯嘅聯 League of Arabian Countries， 我唔記得呢個，即係佢 Arab League， Arab League 係啦，即係誒阿拉伯聯聯盟啦，就甚至乎有一個好離譜嘅決定咧，就係、是、就係、是、我哋一齊。集埋啲軍隊派兵掟曬呢啲反對勢力佢，<笑>即係有啲咁誇張嘅走出嚟。咁然後西方世界係冇反應，冇反應或者冇<笑>哦冇嘢咁樣。佢喺呢睇呢啲咁嘅實際嘅例子裏面咧，我就見到所謂嘅純單純 n a i 嘅 humanism 咧。就其實係好好，即係基本上完全不可信。動員啲人民支持你出軍，基本上完全不可信啦。There's one point I kind of want to raise about this actually is I mean what you're saying with the Arab League now. Some of the Arab League countries、mm. have stated that if NATO requires an Arab participation in this military intervention, some states have explicitly come out and said, like Qatar, the UAE, have come out and said, okay, we will commit troops. And the interesting thing, like I mean, what what Abeg is saying about the media, for example, is that um, um, like if we take the example of Al Jazeera,、mm. you know,、uh, for a long、mm. for a long time we have taken Al Jazeera to be the best mainstream news source, <laughs> the most neutral、uh, mm. news source. But there's one thing that's been quite weird that's happened lately、mm. is that Al Jazeera is very very enthusiastically on the part of the opposition, and what makes this weird? Is that Al Arabiya, which is the Saudi Arabian TV channel, is also very, very enthusiastic about the opposition.、Mm-hmm. And if we kind of think about it more closely, Al Jazeera is based in Qatar and is financed by the Qatari royal family.、Mm-hmm. And Qatar has recently come out to say, "Okay, we will commit troops to 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 help in this humanitarian." 即係話卡塔爾嘅國家啦，同埋即係由卡塔爾 sponsor 嘅半島電視台，佢哋嘅立場係一致定，係支持呢個反。加拿大飛嘅勢力嘅，咁然然後呢一個咁樣嘅立場咧，亦都同誒阿拉伯嘅電視台係誒，即係都相符啦。And there's another thing we kind of have to add is that why why、um, did they decide on passing this resolution so quickly? Because we would assume that the regular procedure is to try to negotiate with somebody like Gaddafi first. I mean, if we think back to 1990 with、uh, American, the American intervention to the Gulf War, when、mm-hmm. when Saddam Hussein invaded in Kuwait,、yeah. um, Saddam Hussein at that time, because America was going to impose heavy, heavy economic sanctions on, on Iraq, which Saddam re- Saddam's regime would probably not be able to survive. And secondly, Saddam Hussein was actually willing to negotiate with the United States、mm-hmm. for a peaceful resolution to withdraw from Kuwait. But George Bush's George Bush Senior's、um, um, Parliament said, "Okay, no, we refuse. We will bomb them into the stone." We are not on the same page. We will just jail them. So that makes you think about this Gaddafi situation. Is could this have been resolved with Gaddafi in a non in a nonviolent way? And that's a question that not many people have really asked up until this point.、Mm. And The reason why there's been this emergency resolution to pass through this security measure is that everybody thought that Gaddafi would move into Benghazi to、mm. to 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 massacre people. 即係派兵係啦，即係佢直頭會屠城啦。覺得好多人都覺得佢。But this is this is not. 呢個係一個假設嚟嘅。Right, it's not actually. 亦都可能其實係一種宣傳嘅效果，因為到最後即係。因為如果我哋記得啦，自從呢個人所謂人道危機出現咗之後咧，即係卡達菲嘅形象就即係直線下降啦。即係我哋亦都冇去質疑過卡達菲嘅反對嗰邊，其實佢對於啲平民做咗咩嘢？係，但係我即係我哋其實我都記得，譬如我哋睇電視都，就算譬如 C N N 啊呢啲，佢即係影呢個誒利比亞嘅時候，都有大批係支持卡達菲嘅羣眾係係聚集過，即係嗰班友係。係自發，即係我我唔知佢會收咗錢定乜嘢啦嚇。咁、嗯、但係真係有啲平民願意用血肉之軀去我哋去抵擋呢個西方國家。即係去漠視一樣嘢就係、是，即、就、係、是、對於整個非洲嚟講，利比亞喺喺今年以前啦、嗯，一直都係即係佢哋即係人類發展指數啫。佢所謂即係 low band 嘅嘅 indicator 啦，即係你可以唔信任佢，但係佢又代表緊呢個地方人均收入啊、健康水平有幾高。嗯、利比亞係最高喎，成個非洲裏面，即係。如果你話啲人去支持佢嘅話，亦都可以好簡單解釋就話，你離開咗利比亞或者離開咗一個咁嘅遊園政權嘅話咧，你可能你健康係更加冇保障啊，工作更加冇保障，可能就係咁。
I, but I'm not sure because you see, like when people talk about how uh, prosperous uh, Libya is, they usually look at the GT, GDP figures. I mean, you, you, <laughs> it's the same thing with Egypt. I mean, uh, in last year when everybody was recovering from the economic crisis, Egypt actually had a growth rate of four percent, which was very healthy. But when you look at the figures and you see where this money goes to, it's actually concentrated within a very, very small range of, of, of people. I think this is a very understand. In the past 20 years, the GDP has increased a lot. But in fact, it's more than that. But in fact, we have a lot of changes in our life. I think the government has a lot of changes in our lives. Right, and, and um, there's another thing that we kind of have to think about is that uh, uh, the, the military in Libya has a stake in 25% of the national economy. Mm. And um, there's another thing is that Libya, we cannot really think of it as being really a kind of nation state. Because Libya is in fact composed of over 140 tribes, none of all of which hold to a tribal identity first rather than a national identity. Like, and that's a difference that kind of separates a country like Libya from Egypt because of Egypt, uh, with Nasser's kind of nationalist, kind of populist sort of ideology, tried very hard to create a kind of Egyptian national identity that transcends any kind of regional or tribal sort of identity, right? So, you, you mean, for example, Egypt, of course, it has a so-called nation state, that is, a people country. So, that person really thinks that Egypt is an Egyptian people. That is, Egypt has a responsibility or a burden. But the problem is that the other side has not experienced this kind of modern era. It has not allowed them to enter into this kind of society and imagination. The majority of them think that they are first a slave. What do you think? In fact, this kind of thing is very similar to what is in Carter Fager's son Sadifu. He said that if we are in a kind of violent and violent state, then maybe the Libya will become 15 different kinds of violent and violent state. Oh. Yes. Then it will be more difficult to communicate with the Western world. Yes. He used the Greek word for Christianity. This is almost the same. We have more than we have understood the Libya's background. Next time we will continue.